to the Pastry Kitchen. I'm Emma, and today I'll be showing you how to make these homemade Pop-Tarts. Mine are raspberry flavored, and they're made with a homemade rough puff pastry and topped with icing and sprinkles for fun. Let me show you how to make them. To make the dough, we're going to add two cups plus two tablespoons of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of granulated sugar, and one teaspoon of salt to the food processor, and pulse those together until they're well combined. Now we'll gradually add one cup or 16 tablespoons of cubed cold unsalted butter to the mixture. Then we'll continue pulsing until the butter is down to small little pieces instead of large chunks. should look a little something like this. Then we're going to add about four tablespoons of ice water to the mixture. We'll start with four, but you might need up to five tablespoons. Don't add all five at once because we don't want to overwater the dough in case you don't need the whole five. After adding four tablespoons of ice water, my dough started to come together into a dough bowl, so that's where I stop adding water. We're going to turn this out onto a lightly floured surface, divide it in half, and shape it into two five-inch round discs. Then we'll cover those with plastic wrap and place those in the fridge for an hour. Line two baking sheets with either silicone baking mats like I did or sheets of parchment paper and then set them aside. Then take only one of the dough discs out of the fridge at a time. Let the other one rest in the fridge while you're working with the one. And we're going to lightly flour our countertop or the surface you're working on and roll this out into a 13 by 11 inch rectangle. That way when we trim it down to have even edges, we'll have a 12 by 10 inch rectangle. Now we'll take our rectangle of dough and cut it in half vertically and cut it three times horizontally so that it's in fourths that way. That way we have eight triangles and place four on the prepared baking sheets and then set four aside to be the toppers. Now we'll spoon about a tablespoon and a half of jam into the center of each of these pastries, leaving a small border around the edge untouched so that we can seal it first with our fingers, then with a fork to make sure it's super sealed so that the jam doesn't leak out when we go to bake these. But once we place the jam on there and spread it out in a rectangle, place the topper on, seal it, poke it with a toothpick, four times in the top, and then we'll place this in the freezer for one to two hours. The jam I'm using is homemade raspberry jam. Recipe on my channel, go check it out. Or you can just use store-bought if you don't want to make it.
put this in plastic wrap, place in the freezer, and then take my other dough ball out of the fridge and repeat with that, and then place that in the freezer and let both of those rest for one to two hours. Now I'll repeat the process with the second dough ball. Now preheat the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to uncover the pop tarts and then bake them for 15 minutes and then rotate both of the cookie sheets 180 degrees and bake them for another 12 to 15 minutes until they're golden brown. And just make sure that the racks in the oven are positioned so that one is near the top and one is near the bottom so that there's distance between all of the edges of the oven and between each of the two racks. Now allow these to cool completely before making the icing. Once the pastries are cooled, I'm gonna set them aside and make the icing. To make the icing, we're gonna add to a small mixing bowl or measuring cup one cup of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of half and half, and a quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now I'm just gonna mix that together with a rubber spatula, and I'm gonna add a couple drops of dye to the icing just to match the raspberry jam that we put on the inside. The icing should be a nice spreadable texture, but if it's too thick, just add a couple splashes of half and half until it's the correct texture. Mine looks like this. Now we're just gonna spread this on top of the Pop-Tarts and then they'll be ready to be enjoyed. And I'll just add a couple sprinkles for fun. And there you go. And here are our finished homemade Pop-Tarts. I hope you guys like this recipe. Let me know if you check it out. Like this video if you like it and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Comment down below what you want to bake together next. I can't wait to bake with you again. Bye!